News just reaching us say President of the African Development Bank, Akiwumi Adeshina, has been exonerated of all charges by the independent review panel led by former President of Ireland, Mary Robinson. Some whistleblower allegations of favoritism had been leveled against Adeshina, and although he had been cleared by the Ethics Committee of the bank, the U.S. had requested for an independent investigation, saying it was not satisfied with the report of the committee. And that's the breaking news just reaching us now. We had to take it before we welcome you to Off the Press, where we look at the headlines in the papers. And with the help of our guests, we try to unravel what's behind it. Thank you very much for joining us. My name is Felicity Ezewike. To help us make sense of the headlines, we have the publisher of CKN News, Mr. Chris Wandu. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Felicity, for having me this morning. It's our pleasure. All right, let's start with the Tribune newspaper now. The big one is under school reopening. It says, FG reopened schools August 4th for graduating students. Uh, that's, um, uh, it was in our news earlier as well. Uh, it has a rider. SS3 students begin WIAC August 17th. Uh, we also have reps committee invites over 30 reps, EFCC, Army, ex-governors, others, over 500 billion naira NDDC emergency contracts. Uh, details on that one is on page four and eight. Just beside the picture um, on the front page, ongoing work, you see COVID-19, Equity Attorney General, other unnamed cabinet members test positive. Inbound passengers to undergo COVID-19 tests. Edoguba Oshomole Obaseki in Vaba War. Uh, just above the um, uh, masthead, we have Buhari Names Railway Stations after Awolowo, Tinubu, Saraki, Fashola, Jakonde, Shoinka, Nahoro, Ikimi, others. Military warns soldiers against mutiny, revolution. Troops eliminate, arrest scores of bandits, rescue kidnapped victims in North West. Uh, these are some of the headlines. There are more. Uh, the Southern Cardinal situation is captured there. A IGP orders full enforcement of curfew. And then a little bit of more politics there from the PDP BOT. But let's get more top time for our guest, Mr. Wandu, uh, by you know putting him on the spotlight. Uh, let's look at the school reopening for a graduating class, and then we'll go over other issues, uh, particularly the naming of um, railway station over um, after some of our um, uh, you know big names. Yes. Um, um, first, of all, I think there's need for us to allow the final year students uh, and um, GSS to pick up the um, program and uh, work with the PPF and the federal government. Uh, so, you know, the uh, initial um, and we opened the initial um, come out later to say, no, we are not going to do this. Um, but I think that the various things that have been held between the federal government is the school proprietor and the hospital um, uh, agreed that it be open August for, for only SS3 and SS3 students so that um, the, the unified WIAC exam can start on the 17th of um, August. And don't forget that WIAC is a staff uh, uh, that comprises um, all the work. So uh, Nigeria cannot be an exception. On. And um, so I, I'm in total with uh, it is now for the schools to be able to provide um, the next the, the the network is certainly not great, but we will plow on um, and see if it gets better. Um, let's talk about the continuing conversation around the NDDC finances. This morning, uh, the reps committee is inviting over 30 reps. Uh, EFCC Army, ExGov over um, emergency, 500 billion hour emergency uh, project. Uh, are, we, are you expecting to see more uh, being unraveled um, as it concerns the NDDC in the coming days and weeks? Oh, definitely there will be more. 
Uh, don't forget, forget that the investigative panel has been suspended before. He can still, uh, the forensic uh, investigative panel is on it. Um, then the National Assembly body has suspended the um, Senate. The Senate uh, presented a map with a decision uh, that um, the acting director should pay back a certain amount of money. Uh, the House of Rep have invited the uh, stakeholders okay, to where they stop. So, more information before. Uh, the only problem is that uh, I have that came out recently to so what he said that um, during the panel, um, investigation, only for us to a good, uh, he came out with uh, names those that he, he already said uh, in public contract mm. um, in the House of Mr. Wandu, it's so, still a struggle to actually hear you that properly. That to me is the, yes. is the key point now. All right, it's still a struggle, but your quick thoughts before we move on to the next paper on the naming of railway stations after some, you know, famous Nigerians. My personal opinion, um, to that, uh, naming uh, 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 this, uh, after individuals. Well, for those that are, yes, stop mortalizing. But those that are if I don't think that's do that now. Is that the discretion of the president? He knows the reason why that. Uh, that's my personal opinion. I think people want uh, 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 to point that they have done enough, not why they are starving. Not starving. And I don't see why we should be in at them now. All right, um, let's move on to the Nation newspaper now. Uh, the big one here is NMA kicks as government ask exit class pupils to resume August 4. Dawn, teachers, parents hail decision. Why to begin on August 17? Uh, just before the masthead, we have the very bright red Edo 2020. Oshamale. I'm sorry for selling a bad product in 2016. ADC's governorship candidate condemns violence. We will resist APC's intimidation, says PDP. More NDDC contract beneficiaries on Aquabio's list. Aquabio is on a roll. <laughs> and then just above the masthead, we have DSS warns and plots to subvert country. Health workers got 15.8 billion out of hazard pay in four months. Uh, yeah, this was a, a cherry news for me. Um, I'm sure for a lot of Nigerians as well. Uh, the one that says, cut upholds school supervisor's 60 year jail term for rape. He abused trust of parents. I'm assuming that is the judge speaking. You might want to check out the, the details on page six of the paper. Moving on now, there's our president, Muhammad Bukhari, at a meeting. Um, ECOWAS leaders recommend unity government in Mali. PTF, why we can't lock down high-risk Lagos councils? All right, um, let's go back to Mr. Wandu now. But he's joining us via phone. Uh, the network hasn't been so great, so uh, we switched to see if that will be better. So over to you now, Mr. Wandu. NMA is kicking as government asks to exit uh, pupils, uh, ask exit pupils to resume August 4. Well, um, it's a legitimate fear. Um, NMA is the is the body in charge of um, doctors. And uh, so if they come back with that, um, I don't think anything wrong in that, but we shouldn't um, also try to throw away the baby with the bath water. The fact that is that it's not all the schools that has been open. We are not opening all the secondary schools. We are not opening all the primary schools. We are not even opening the universities and the special institutions. The opening is only for the students that are taking the, uh, their final exams, those in GSS 3 and also um, SS3. So I don't have any problem with that. It is only when the federal government announced that all schools, irrespective of level, should be open, then we can start having issues with that. For now, I say I'm with the federal government that uh, this school should be open for these uh, students to take this examination 
so that they get this done once and for all, so that we can move on. How confident are you that all the measures will be put in place, security-wise, uh, social distancing, that these children um, and uh, teenagers uh, mostly understand the gravity of the situation we currently are in? Do you have hope that that will be the case? Yes, I, I believe that we do. Don't forget these are our children, and they, they've been with us. Um, they know what um, the pandemic is all about. They've been re reading and hearing, even at home, um, uh, with the necessary precautions being taken. I, for one, my children, have, uh, my children have not been going out in the past few months since the pandemic uh, broke. So they know what it takes. Then also when you get to the schools, in terms of social distancing, and um, you have to realize that it's not all the school that is opening. So there will be enough space for the students to be spaced within the available uh, uh, premises and the classrooms to be able to take care of this. All right. Then I also, yes, so I, I, I don't have any problem with that. All right, let's go to the punch. That same issue is captured on the front page, uh, the school reopening, but uh, punch captions it slightly differently. NUT insists on PPE. Others as SSS3 pupils resume August 4. Um, it has two riders to it. And then um, road construction pictures on the front page for you to uh, see, I uh, guess, the level of work being done. Uh, just a minute to the photographs. You will see Dogara should have discussed contract fraud with Bochi government. Um, that's uh, from the PDP. We also have man sentenced to life imprisonment for defiling a 6-year-old girl. Um, I, I, I do hope that such stories can be amplified so people know the risk punishment uh, for raping and uh, defiling little girls. My deputy of no importance, I will win his local government. Okay, that's uh, Karedolu. It's hitting up in Ondo State. And then just minute, we have uh, subscribers accused Lagos real estate firm of scam. Reopen Funsha Williams murder probe. Body judge tells Buhari. Uh, there are some other stories there for you as well. Uh, we'll go back to Mr. Wandu now. Yes. Yeah, just take your pick. Which of the headlines caught your attention the most? Um, I would look at the, the issue of the rape case and uh, the life imprisonment, which to me is, is a good one. Um, I think we have to start uh, making sure that some of these people that engage in this um, um, art are properly brought to book and, um, and, and made to uh, and punished. Um, so that uh, life imprisonment for me is a good one. And I think, as you say in law, that should be a precedent uh, so that subsequent um, um, suspects uh, that get themselves engaged in such will also get that kind of. So, with that, I think we can be able to uh, stay this in the time. Then, I also want to look at the issue of the reopening of um, the investigation into the death of uh, um, late engineer Funshaw Williams. It has been, it's not, I think, over 20 something years since that uh, um, um, incident happened. I don't know if the uh, body judge has any new angle to the story. If he does, I think he should make that available to security agencies so that um, they can pursue that. Uh, but I hope that it is not also politically motivated, um, the speech. So, but if he has a new angle, then he should send it, he should forward that information to the police, and I'm sure they'll do something about it. All right, uh, there is this issue of the DSS alleging some people trying to subvert the security and peace of the uh, country. Uh, what's your reaction to that? Was that statement uh, necessary or should they, as a secret service, have um, handled the situation, really? Yes, well, uh, security agencies have a way of getting their information. Not only the DSS, uh, the defense headquarters also came up um, uh, with um, a press statement last night, uh, warning soldiers to desist from a engaging in any mutiny. So if that will come from the defense headquarters and another one from DSS, then that means something is uh, I miss somewhere. And also there was a statement that I also credited, so I think chairman of one of the political parties where we was making inference to things like that. Uh, but that is not what we need now. Uh, we have a serious uh, security challenges. We are having serious political challenges and issues, and uh, I think that should be addressed. 
uh, any attempt made by anyone or group of people to be able to um, uh, engage in such as uh, should be rightly handled by the security agencies. But it is, it is a welcome development. You cannot really wait for this happening once in a while from people trying to be funny. Uh, that the DSTS could issue that statement also so that they have credible information at their disposal um, to come up with that. All right, let's go to the Guardian newspaper and see what we can do in the time left. Uh, manufacturers resort to self-help as gas prices soar. Uh, we have um, self-generated electricity hits uh, 119 billion in 2019. And then grid supply inadequate to meet local demand. Beneath the picture of uh, President Buhari, we have government loses 766 million naira to four month suspension of railway services. A couple of riders to that story for you. And then uh, beneath it, we have some colorful boxes at the bottom of the paper. Uh, we have uh, Obasanjo excluded as Buhari names railway stations after prominent Nigerians. ECOWAS threatened actors in Mali crisis with sanctions. That's um, one for you as well. Secondary schools to reopen for exit classes August 4. Women protest against corruption in NDDC. Um, let's go back to the NDDC, Mr. Wandu. Women are protesting. Um, we had the unfortunate situation in Southern Kaduna where women also protested. When women begin to take the front line like this, what comes to your mind? Well, uh, mothers uh, are the women are the mother uh, mothers of the nation. So whatever affects um, any one of us affects them directly. Either it affects their children, or it affects their husband, or, or those close to them, or their daughters. So it is expected that um, they should take uh, a lot of um, interest in what happens in the country. And that of the NDDC is the, the terrible one. Uh, we've seen what is happening within the Niger Delta, uh, a, a, a region that lays the, the hand that lays the golden egg, uh, but um, is still very, very, very backward in terms of development. So they are aware of what is happening and they are of the news. So if they protest and call for action, I don't think there's any problem with that. Also in Kaduna, a lot is of killing is going on in Southern Kaduna. And that should be a sign of concern to every individual. Uh, those in government and those in our security agencies that to do something immediately. The rate of killing and repressor killing going on in Sada Kaduna uh, is just that we need to choose the picture of uh, felicity. It's so gross. So, uh, personally, one of my friends, um, a pop artist, a popular pop, a pop artist, Joel Amadi, his father was killed and, um, just two days ago. So that is um, it's so terrible. So. Indeed, uh, it is. It, yes, it's really, really terrible. It is indeed. Um, let's uh, take your thoughts on the government losing 766 million naira to uh, the four-month suspension of railway services. Um, how, how much of an effect do you think this will have on the revenue um, of the railway services, considering um, how hard hit other parts of the economy has been so far? Uh, well... That is much, but if you compare to what happened to the aviation industry, that is just a, a, a small, a, what we call a small fry. The aviation industry um, loss ran into billions and billions. So for the railway, um, it was expected also. But good enough, we are restarting um, because the Minister of uh, Transportation um, just um, had um, an inspection of, uh, um, of the Abuja Kaduna uh, route. Uh, more coaches have just been added, and uh, all the protocols have been put in place so that, and it has just come out to say that if you don't put on your mask, you will not be allowed to enter the train. So I think this is time for us to start opening up that sector too, uh, in order to uh, re energize our economy, which has been in sort of doldrums since the pandemic started in early March, February this year. All right, Mr. Chris Wandu, publisher of CKN News, thank you very much for sharing your thoughts on the headlines this morning. Thank you very much for having me. Have a blessed day. You too, sir.
And that's how we wrap things up this morning on uh, Off the Press uh, program where we take a look at the headlines. Uh, please don't forget to go grab the papers uh, for yourself. You can visit your vendor and get a copy, a hard copy, or you can read online. Thank you again for your attention. We're back again tomorrow morning, 8.30 on the DOT. We'll be back with the papers. For now, you take care and I would see you shortly.